So this matchup is really interesting for um, for both characters because Snake. <laughs> okay, very very smart use of the C4. He was like, I think Arya is not gonna. He's not gonna go for the throw. Uh, back throw into C4 is guaranteed. But it's the only throw that Snake has that is guaranteed. He's a very strong champ, but the sticky will pass. You have to be very aware of whether it is stuck off of you or not when you're doing the throw. Um, this is a very interesting matchup because Clay Pigeon is probably the first big reason. Uh, Clay Pigeon takes up a huge amount of space. It has a hitbox on the Pigeon itself, meaning that uh, you don't necessarily need to blast it to get the hit. And this is the other reason this matchup can be kind of interesting, is Nikita. Uh, if Duck Hunt Dog is ever off the stage and you're near the ledge, that should be the stock if you're playing it properly. But, great job from Apollo, very smart recovery. The up air, uh, the up air causing the, uh, the Nikita to no longer be a, uh, a threat. And, oh, I don't know why he, let it, he didn't let it rip immediately. Oh, that's not good. Uh, Apollo down a stock now. Are you pretty close to death? This is the, the big part. Is like where where do you get that where do you get that kill off of Snake? Is uh, Duck Hunt Dog? Duck Hunt Dog does have a lot of pretty good uh, methods to kill. Back air is one of them. Very nice. Like when you're playing a zoning character, you have to be extremely careful with how you uh, how you approach being down. Uh, because yes, you want to try to stay on your game plan because diverting from it can cause you to lose the match. But you also have to keep in mind that if your game plan wasn't winning a minute ago, maybe you have to rethink how you are approaching things and why you lost that last stock. That's a big thing. Uh, playing a zoner is like you have to always be evaluating your last stock and how you lost it. Well, and also the fact that. Snake just has incredibly good boxing tools compared to Duck Hunt Dog. Duck Hunt Dog doesn't necessarily, uh... Duck Hunt Dog doesn't necessarily do as good of a job of, um... of close quarters combat as Snake does. And again, the Clay Pigeon putting in work for um, for Apollo. He's opting not to go for the down air spike because he wasn't in a position to try to get it. Last time it actually ended up causing a lot of damage and good roll in. Managing to get past the, uh, the Snake RPG. And you can see like the Clay Pigeon, it does have like a fair amount of health and Apollo with a great turnaround on game three. Good job. Again, this is a best of five set. Uh, so this is going to be... Apollo has to win at least two more games to move on. But that does give Arya three more chances, uh, two more chances to, to try to take the set. It's like the crazy amount of pressure that, um, that Apollo was able to put on Arya toward the end. Very well done. Even though he didn't have the most auspicious start, honestly. He was able to um, to do some great damage. Get the Three, two, one, go! All right, now we have a uh, battlefield. Battlefield obviously is a very much a comfort pick for Snake. Uh, it's one of the best stages, but it doesn't mean that Duck Hunt can't also put any work here. A really good ladder combo. Unfortunately, miss, Apollo missing like the last hit there. It wasn't going to kill, but it was going to do a good amount of damage. And it did cost him some uh, stage control. You can see like Apollo's actually like he's waiting for the uh, for the right time to get off the ledge. He's thinking about when the grenades are pulled. He's keeping an eye on the fact that uh, there is a set of timer to how Snake uses grenades, so if he's really careful with how he does it. He can generally avoid a lot of damage, and that's something that's really important for this matchup. It's just awareness of what, of when uh, Snake pulled out grenades, how, uh, when you're going to uh, try to go for major hits, and stuff like what range is what range is Duck Hunter at? What range is Snake at? What options do they have at this point? Uh, ooh, and Snake. Thought he's sneaky. Uh, Arya thought he had sticky to Apollo, but not quite. 
Alright, I respect the core there. The man is uh, he's going out of pocket. He's like, yeah, I'm gonna try to go for this, and if you do a bad approach, you might die. Oh my god, that was so close. And again, Apollo, like, being super aware of where the C4 is placed, that's really a huge part of this matchup. It's just being like, I know exactly where you put the C4, I know where, what you're trying to do to me, uh, I'm paying attention, and if you keep trying to go for, like, these bad uh, C4 placements, or if you keep trying to punish me like that, you're gonna die, bro. Oh, wow, and a crazy, crazy stage spike there. And a good up tilt. Let's go, Arya, coming in. Are you still keeping this alive? You gotta keep it going. You can't give up too quickly. I'm not... Okay, that was actually really interesting, and I, I actually really like that. I know he's smart from my end. He's like, yeah, I want to wait till the can is right over me so I can get up. I know he's gonna try to throw it towards me. Oh, and an unfortunate C4 timeout. Sometimes when you get too caught up in the match, you're like, I completely forgot that my C4 was out and where it was, and I got hit by it. And it cost me stage control. This could not be going anywhere for Arya. This might be it. Yep, and he got pecked right in the friggin' mouth, and that's it. Apollo with a really, really strong game, too. Good job. Arya has one more chance to bring this back, or else he's gonna be locked into losers. Let me get my Frankerzies in the chat, guys. Come on. Ready? See some dogs. Alright, Arya's last. He went back to Battlefield. What an interesting choice. I honestly felt like PS2 went a lot better for him. But I guess he figured that it was more of a case of the momentum getting away from him as opposed to like a stage pick kind of biting him in the butt. But you know, comfort picks are comfort picks, even if it uh, might be a little ill-advised. You want to try to play on the stage you've always played on, but you've got to really think about like why you lost the previous match if you're uh, in RDA situation. And you can't like really underestimate the value of like just letting something grab a second. Apollo's like, okay, I'm kind of assessing the situation. And Arya was like, I'm not sure I want to move from this spot. And because he let it breathe for just like half a second, he was able to retain his control over the situation. And that's really important, especially when you're fighting a zoner or playing a zoner, is knowing when you have control, when you're about to lose it, and what times you should just wait for things to kind of develop, and then hopefully keep taking advantage. Is Duck Hunt? Excuse me. Duck Hunt up there, uh, up there. A really strong move for, uh, for killing. It is extremely active and it has a good amount of district copies considered. Alright, good use of Can to, to keep protecting from the Nikita. Um, despite how one sided the beginning was, like, Apollo is still very much at risk of death here. He has to be super careful not to, uh, not to approach badly, or he can very easily lose his stock. As the cliche goes, this is extra credit at times. So you have to be very careful to not lose that little bonus score that you're trying to build up. Good back throw. Good awareness of the grenade timings from uh, Apollo. And this man died. He double died. Okay, okay, nice. Let's go. Very good. The big thing that a lot of snakes do when they're not like being super aware of where their opponent is, is that they'll try to pull out C4 when they're high above, when they're above their opponent, even if they're not like at of, even if they're not out of the range to be hit. So that's something you have to be kind of aware of. And just like that, Apollo is finally on his. Uh, Apollo is getting ready to take his uh, the stock for the set. He has to be a little careful here, but he's in a prime position to, to move on. But Arya still has a good chance to take this. 
Give me out zoner, the zoner dog. Dude, Arya's finally like, I'm gonna slow this down. I'm gonna take my time with this. I'm gonna try to force a situation where I know I'm 100% gonna be able to kill. Uh, however, when Duck Hunt Dog is landing with Neri, has no landing lag. And Arya going for the up tilt. That up tilt barely not killing. And an interesting clay pigeon from a. Uh, from Apollo kind of losing that stock kind of a bit earlier than he probably would have liked. And here we see like things are starting to slip a little bit away from Apollo. He's still getting in great damage, but if he lets Arya keep playing like this and he keeps taking straight hits, uh, things are gonna not end that great for him. And a lot of it is just because uh, Apollo's trying to force an approach. Uh, this is actually even again. Which is very surprising considering the lead that uh, that Apollo was holding earlier. And just like that, like Arya is actually taking the lead. Good job. Yay. You can never, ever, ever overstate how much trying to force an approach, how much trying to take a stock, trying to force a stock can actually come back to bite you. And if Arya is, uh, plays his cards right, this might be the first... Uh, this might be the first match of him winning this set. Despite like the kind of the long shot odds of him actually like making that comeback too. Like you saw, like a big part of the a big part of the shift of the matchup was that Arya stopped giving up huge amounts of stage control. To, uh, to Apollo, he stopped allowing Apollo to have um, to have huge amounts of the stage, and he stopped getting hit by like these random straight hits. Three, two, one, and just go! like that, we're back to PS2. This is the stage that started the set, and this is where Apollo won Game One. Uh, all these counter picks going forward are going to be Apollo's, so whether they're going to be comfort picks at PS2 or actual counter picks, uh, that's really on him. But Arya is not going to have much of a stay in where they're going to be going for the rest of the set. And that's just what happens when you, uh, you drop the first two games like that. You see, like, a big thing right there is uh, the, the gunmen aren't actually, they don't get killed by uh, by snakes when they doesn't do enough damage, at least from the initial lob throw, to kill them on the spot. So you have to actually explode the grenade or hit them with something a little bit stronger to deactivate them. Uh, once we deactivate them, they are inactive for quite a while. It's, uh, it'll be a bit until uh, Duck Hunt Dog can summon them again, but it is, uh, it is like something to keep in mind if you're having difficulty dealing with all the projectiles, is that that is an option just to take them out. You can see like Apollo again, like he's playing his game, he's starting to, uh, he's setting up his barrier, he's trying to force Arya into bad recovery, but he got flung off the stage. And how the the way that Arya kind of tackles uh, Apollo being, trying to come back, is going to be a big defining factor in how this first box is end. A lot of explosions on Snake, but Arya managing to stay in shield just the right amount of time. And a good up air to anti-air the uh, anti-air Snake out of the second jump. Very good. Oh man! And Nikita, the cooldown from Nikita, from moving from uh, putting away Nikita is actually not that much, not as much as you'd expect. And that's something that you have to remember when you're fighting Snake is like if you are a certain distance away from him and he decides to put it away, you can try to grab you out of your run, out of your dash towards him. Or just up tilt you straight up like you did. Oh, and that's the risk of uh, recovering super high against a character with like a very uh, long lasting up air. Like a duck hunt dog. Just like that, Apollo holding a very solid lead. Of course, the last game Apollo had a similar lead and it managed to slip through his fingers. Uh, so we're gonna see and hope that, uh, hopefully for Apollo's sake, he's going to maintain this lead just as well. He's gonna maintain his lead better than he did the last game.
Clay Pigeon a very annoying part of this matchup for any character. Uh, Clay Pigeon has a huge hitbox, both on the Pigeon itself and on the explosions. And up there taking it! Are you managing to, to claw his way back onto the last stock? And yeah, it's even! Of course, that's only assuming that um, Apollo doesn't manage to run away with it, but that Clay Pigeon, uh, that first Clay Pigeon miss, not a great sign. A great clay pigeon is uh, Apollo specifically waiting for the grenade to explode. He's like, I don't want to run into that and then ended up losing all of my state control because I got a little bit too, uh, I got a little too enthusiastic. And then the last minutes, the last second of the set, again, this is a position where Snake really excels at. It's a high percent last hit situation. Uh, if Snake manages to get the, if Snake manages to get the up tilt, that's it. It's over. Oh, but a, kind of a, not a good forward tilt there from, uh, from Arye. And Apollo standing on the C4, kind of flirting with danger there. Oh god, and this is uh there's a lot of shield pressure for Apollo. Are you Oh he had him right there! He had him dead to right! The second he did the second back here, that could have been it! But Arya didn't let it rip with the C4! And now the C4 is gone. He lost a lot of his stage presence. Oh that's it! Arya met again! Managing to come back from a really bad situation and just taking the last stock. Cursed, good job. And just like that, we're going into game five. Despite like the shaky start for Arya, um, the first and second, uh, the first and second match is really rough for him. Uh, he manages to turn this to turn this into a game five set. I'm oh, sorry for laughing. That's just that's something I'm related. And we're going back to PS2. This whole set is a little bit paid on, played on PS2 in battle. But you know, I respect it. Great damage output from, uh, from, from uh, Apollo. Managing to get Snake into a really bad position. He managed to grab the ledge, and now the gunman is out of the equation for the next few seconds. Um, Alright, so we have Apollo trying to uh, fix his thought. Arya doing an awesome job of uh, keeping it even. In fact, Arya definitely having the advantage here, and he didn't read the uh, he didn't read the roll behind. But he still managed to get the hit. Very nice. Ooh! Okay! Okay! <laughs> that was three different uppers! And each of them had at least one hit connect. It wasn't until the last one. Jesus, okay. I mean, just like that, we're back to a completely even game. Uh, Apollo managing to, like, again, do a crazy amount of damage. Duckling Dog is actually really good at doing these, like, really good long combo strings. Of course, finishing off the stock if you're not allowing him to set up and play his game can be difficult for him. But Apollo managing to get set up for the most part, but awesome DI from Arya managing not to get hit by the last upper. That would have definitely been the stock. And somehow the snake dash attack putting him low enough where he wasn't going to get hit by the up smash. Interesting. And uh, <laughs> oddly enough, uh, the Duck Dog up smash managing to hit the snake there. And a really good uh, use of the C4 there. Perfectly spaced. 
You want to be super careful about jumping out near snakes. It's always very dangerous to do so. Or even under the best of circumstances, if you're not, uh, if you approach poorly, this can end really badly. And Arya taking a, a decent lead now. And then taking, uh, taking the stock and getting it back into it, sorry. You see, like, Apollo's, like, Apollo's thinking, I want to exert stage control, I want to hold on to it. If I let it go, like, I have, like, the last two games where I just get murdered! Oh my god! That wasn't even close to being a proper spike. But you know what? Smash, Death Cam, you can have it. I was like, man, he really DI'd out on that last down here. That sucks. Are you going for the Hail Mary smash? Uh, honestly, if it had hit, that would have been a big, big part. That would have been a big, uh, a big thing towards making up this, uh, this deficit. Are you still in it? He has made up a worst gap before. Right? However, if he gets hit by like one major hit, that's going to be the set. But Apollo must be feeling kind of the same way. He has to be nervous. Um, he can't. Oh gosh, that was so close. You can't drop two games in a row like that, say, the way Apollo did, and not be thinking, "Man, I really messed up." And nice up air. Somehow the first the first up air not completely connecting. Second up air scooping him up and finishing the sets. Apollo was a really really scary. Game 5 up here, with a Game 5 set. Jeez. I have no words for all this. <laughs> I just have, like, no words. Arya with an awesome performance all throughout. Good job to him. Uh, it's unfortunate that he wasn't able to use the same kind of explosive comebacks uh, for the first, for the last game as he was for the Game 3 4. All right, guys, up next, we're going to have Zack versus Beast. I am running out of breath. <laughs> if you guys are enjoying my, uh, if you guys are enjoying the commentary, you guys are enjoying the sets, the gameplay, really anything about this, uh, please follow House, subscribe to House, like House, love House, give House retweets, whatever you can do to help us. I really appreciate every single drop of love. What'd you say, Devin? Live in the house, guys. Come pay rent. It's $5 a month. 25 if you want to be a big rent boy. You can have your own room inside the house of 3000 by paying $5 a month. <laughs> we really appreciate everything that you guys have done for us. Uh, we do this ultimately for the community, for the love of the game, and just for like everybody that is here. We you know times are tough. We're trying to keep making like good content and good stuff, so every little bit really helps us out uh unfortunately it's a kind of